Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the crossroom of the Ali season 2 episode number 1 reaction. Alright, so this is the beginning of season 2. Season 1 was really good. It was kind of a little bit, I would say, underrated when it came out. I watched it when it came out and I loved it so much and I barely heard anything about people talking about this show but lately uh, it has gained quite a bit of popularity and I'm so glad about that you know and season 2 comes has come out after so long now I'm guessing looking at the popularity hopefully like season 3 is all already being scheduled I think hopefully we get like a continuation sequels after this as well you know like this actually becomes like a genuine like a series that they keep adapting because this is a really good show i loved season one and uh ayano koji is probably one of the best uh main characters you know like his calm cool uh, nature his intelligence and everything and all that stuff and it's it's, it's good <laughs> so can't wait to see what happens in this season and uh, see more of uh ayano koji's abilities and uh yeah what we kind of get uh, like kind of more more uh you know like what can i say get more more uh ah what is that word like you know fascinated yeah fascinated by him and the things that he do in this season so let us begin this is uh, episode number one of season two so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's begin okay so here's the countdown three two one go Remember to keep a clear head in difficult times. Horace Otis Carmina. All right, here we go. Oh, the island. All right. I wonder what his what the brother will say. All right, he's looking forward to Ayano Koji's. <laughs> oh, they're still not back. They're coming back from, okay. Damn, look at him. Oh yeah, the dad wanted to expel him. Someday Kyotaka will choose expulsion. Hmm. Oh, this is the opening. Well, let's listen to it. Wait, was that a new character? Oh, oh, this is good. Ah. Yo, this is showing the brain. <laughs> Oh, black and white. Oh, wow, with the sword. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, boy. Yo, what? Wow, this song is good. Zero points. Okay. Whoa, what? What is that? That's a cool mask. Oh, that's a really good opening. All right. I'm going to listen to it later on again. Oh my God. Here we go. <laughs> this begins with... <laughs> All right. Not complaining, obviously. Yamauchi and Ike. Oh boy. Oh, this guy. What's his name? Koenji. <laughs> This guy's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
<laughs> just as blunt as always. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Oh, this guy, the, the leader guy. So many characters, I don't barely remember the name. So. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> All right, that's his, his girlfriend. Oh my god. Yo, why are you... Okay. I guess he wanted to talk about something with him? Otherwise, why would he... Special te What special test? Oh my god. It's still not over. There's more tests. Oh, great. Come to the indicated room. Uh, penalty. All right. By 6 p.m. So anytime before that. All right. What the? What is this? Wait, so... So wait, so... So they only... Alright, oh, oh no, oh! One minute, wait, this... Why is... Won't the points get deducted? Why these few eight dicks? Oh, oh, sampling of students, sampling fourteen. Okay, three. Okay, three and three, four and four. Okay. Oh, so interacting with an all right. Okay, this will be interesting. Damn, this is a tough one because they are. <clears throat> VIP, okay. Christian will be with the group. Oh, so deduction game. So what about the VIP? What will he do or she do? Isn't allowed to answer. So wait. If everyone aside from VIP, VIP is awesome. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, so it's okay. All right. If at least one person aside from the room. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, that person will only get the point. Class point. Oh, okay. Oh.
Oh! Oh my god! Uh, obviously, same thing. Means the school. Incorrect answer. Penalty? This is a complicated game. The VIP people only. Oh! Oh! Okay, interesting. This is an interesting one. There's a lot of things going on. It's a complicated one. I need to read that again. But I kind of understand what's happening. All right. So there's two or three layers in it. Like the school, the class point, and also the... not be announced oh oh so no one will know who, who is the vip shows the vip answer yeah one person gets it wrong vip wins discovers the vip Okay, I can kind of understand what's happening. Clarifying all subjects at issue. Yeah, true. Like I, I barely was able, able to understand so, so many things. I need to pause later on and come back to this part. To actually understand open a new message all right okay hmm so they need to deduce of the VIP approach yeah Oh, so which group is she in? Oh boy, here we go. This guy. Oh, what was his name? I forgot. Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh my god yo <laughs> he still doesn't realize it was actually anakoji's oh my god he can kind of feel it Okay, no. What the? Who the hell? So why the hell did... Another limit. Oh, that's why he doesn't know what class D can do. <laughs> True. Hmm. <laughs> First discussion. All right, here we go. Oh, Ayanoko is in this group. Oh, so they were part of the team. Okay. Machida Koji. Oh. 
I barely know all these characters, a few of them. Okay. Uh, no, please introduce yourself. I need more context. Hmm, true. Well. Ah, okay. Hmm, okay, okay, wow. Most. Okay. Hmm. Together. Here's one, all right. <laughs> but, yeah. Resolve to abstain from what? Um, why is he talking like that? <laughs> Abstain from participation. These desirable. Yeah, uh, like... Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but that's not the... Uh, the height and the point is... Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Fairness. Okay. All right. Okay. But there's no guarantee in that. Like we're just assuming it. This is not the A. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are at the top. So that's why, you know. No, but uh, four members each from the oh, okay, yeah, true, 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 three, three, that's all right. The C and D class will get extra points. All right, ah. Uh. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> Damn, he's coming out with some good points, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm.
Well. Oh boy, what's happening here? Rika, who's Rika? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, this is... Why are they picking a fight with her? This is like part of their plan. Oh no, this is part of their plan. I feel like... Great. Um, what the hell is this? Why the hell are you taking pictures like this? What is this? Oh my god. Was weird. Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is Mars group. Oh they they are the Mars group, okay. Obviously they're not involved and they're deadlocked. Not okay, stop. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, there you go, that little crack that formed there. Who is this? Oh, this is that girl, though. The one who was har being harassed. What's her name? I forgot. Oh god. Wait, is that the end? Oh my god, that's the end. Damn. Oh, wow. This started in an interesting way. I need to go back to those parts and actually read the rules again. Like, I, half of them went over my head. <clears throat> okay, I'm guessing this girl will be important in this season? Wow, this ending is also good.
Oh, the character is going to change in every episode, I think. The, you know, the character in the ending. Okay, that's it. So, we begin this episode with... Um, we're coming back from the uh, trip. The, like, you know, the, the exam that... Not exam, but the test that we had. And uh, here, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Hori Horikita's brother. Just a sec, let me check out his name again. Horikita Manabu. Manabu, okay, that's his name, Manabu. He is looking forward to Ayana Koji's, what he'll do after this. And, uh, all right. So, we begin, we, we see them... Um, Still in the ship and uh, like people are just having fun you know like just chilling out like you know just in the pool either in the pool or just you know kind of hanging around like playing with water and everything Horikita is obviously just on her own reading a book and uh, I think Kushida that's his name he, she comes and tries to kind of you know make again tries to make friends with her tries to talk with her she just ignores her and uh, all of that was happening Ayanokuji is looking at everyone here um, I think this this is the first section which was kind of a little bit weird, a little bit suspicious. Hirata, the guy, the, the leader guy, you know, in class uh, D, he comes in and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm meeting with uh, like, you know, a few of my friends and Karizawa, let's, like, you know, you also join us. Okay, and then he, he's awfully kind of persistent. He's like, he's like, oh, you know, like, let's, like, you know, let's go with me, like, you know, like, I, I, I can, like, what does he say? He's oh, he says that you, I can ask her to include you as well. Obviously, Anakoji is not, not like you know. Well, is, Anakoji is like no, like and I don't want that. Uh, and uh, he, he also says that uh, his her name. What's her name? Karizawa, I think that was her name. Yeah, Karizawa. She she will be mad if he joins. Um, obviously, because Karizawa is her, her his boy, uh, his girlfriend. I think yeah. Both of them, yeah. That's I think that's what they said in season one, as, as far as I can remember. And uh, no, she she just like you know kind of ignores her when she says that. Oh, can Ayana Koji join us? And she's like, ah, eh, what? <laughs> and Ayana Koji just leaves. This part is kind of a little bit uh, suspicious. I wonder why he was so persistent in talking to Ayana Koji. Maybe he had something he wanted to tell him. Maybe something else, you know, like we got, did get to see in the end of season one that he's a character who is kind of troubled with how people put expectations on her, I think, you know, like at a certain extent. He, like, you know, he, he acts as a leader, but he's always kind of like in a turmoil, in internal turmoil and trying to like, you know, make everything okay. But at the same time, that itself is kind of like a pressure on him, I think, you know. He, he, he does not like this situation where people are just like, you know, like overly just dependent on him. That type of a thing. Either way, you know, like he, he, he talked with uh, Ayano Koji in, in, like, you know, in, in the island a lot. And I feel like he got like a kind of like a, what can I say, like realized that, oh, this guy could probably help me out in multiple situations. And he might be like, I might be able to un, like, you know, kind of unburden a little bit if I talk to him. That's why maybe he was trying to, uh, like, you know, invite Ayana Koji with him because maybe he had to, uh, like, wanted to converse with him. Maybe he just wanted to become friends with him or something like that. I don't know. But either way, but it just kind of, uh, like, you know, kind of uh, struck me as weird because he did ask him out when he was already supposed to go with Karizawa and her friends. So that, that is kind of a little bit suspicious. I'm like, why are you asking him now? Maybe later on, you know, like any other time, like you know, when you are free, maybe just ask him to like, you know, have a meal with you or something. Like that's pretty okay. But why now? You're, you're supposed to go with the girl, you know, with, with Karuizawa. So why are you asking him now? Like that, that's a little bit like, you know, like a question mark in my head, like why he decided this would be the appropriate time. Uh, maybe he, uh, maybe he really wanted to say something and he did not have much time or something. I don't know. Oh. Anyways, like, like, let's stop trying to go more deep into this. I'm sure I'll get my answer. Um, all right. So, message comes in to everyone's uh, phones. Uh, it's written, uh, all students regarding the special test, please come to the indicated room at the indicated time. Those who have, have more than 10 minutes late may, oh, more than 10 minutes late. Okay, okay. 
may receive a penalty. Come to room 507 by 5.30 p.m. today. Advanced Nurturing High School. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, indicated time 507. So I'm guessing they they assigned different rooms for the different teams, I think. Didn't it? they? Uh, let me check. Like, you know, Horikita is supposed to go in 507. There you go. I was correct. So that I was a little bit confused. I was like, why are the few of them here? Everyone got the message. But now it makes sense. They actually assigned different rooms to the different characters. Here, Ayanokoji, he was told to come in room 504. So there you go. So different rooms and that's how they made the team. You know, like the different rooms where all the characters were like constituted a different team. And nobody knew who the other teams were. That's that's how. Okay, so we come to this room and uh, there's a few char characters who are already here. Wait, one thing I'm kind of a little bit confused about. Why are there so less? Like, and there's like the two glasses characters are here. Uh, Karizawa is here. Ayanokoji is here. Where are the other ones? Like there's quite a few people in the in the Mars team, I think that was the team's name. Why are there like five or four of them here? Did did the others come later on or something? Oh wait, just a sec. Oh, oh I understand what's happening here. Oh the the oh the oh okay. The people from the same class are over here. Oh like Ainokoji comes in. is from class D. He comes in, he sees the two other two guys here. Yukimura and the professor. Okay, so uh, the, the first guy is Sotomura Hideo. 1D. Okay, like I, I, I forgot these were these characters were actually in our class. Okay, the other one is Yukimura Teruhiko. Okay, class D again. So, oh, all right, makes sense. So, not only the rooms are divided on the groups, but also the class. So, basically, all the uh, uh, section, like you know, class D students of the Mars group, I think that was the name of the group, is in this room, you know, and all the other uh, people from the Mars group, some other classes on some other room, I think. Okay, that's how it went. And later on, they kind of went, came together. All right, that's what happened. And uh, later on, uh, she also comes in, what's her name? Karizawa, I think, yeah. And there, here they explain the actual uh, game. Everyone will be grouped. Okay, uh, each named after a planet of the solar system. All the different teams. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight teams. Um, each group will include a sampling of students from each class. There you go. Four of them from class D. These four are here. You know, these four. Uh, four from class C. Three from class A. Three from class B. Okay, total fourteen. Um, she's like C class is also here. Uh, three from A. Uh, all right. You know what, when they were asking, uh, like, I'm talking about this part, I was actually thinking they were going to make this like a cooperate with your enemies, that type of a test, you know, it turns out it's not that simple, you know, okay, so, okay, what's the other part of the explanation, let me, let me check the rest of the explanation, all right, um, and our test result will be assigned to the group as a whole. Okay, so the whole group is going to get the same test result. Makes sense. The testing period is three days long. There will be one day of rest in between. Oh. Uh, at 8 a.m., school will send an email. Uh, the school will, okay. Declaring one member of the group, the VIP. All right. Twice each day, a discussion will be held within a group. Okay, one thing I realized, you know, uh, within the group, there's the whole secrecy going on, like, you know, like whether, like, you know, like uh, who is a VIP, that kind of a thing, and everything's happening within the group. So basically, if you cons like, you know, consult with someone outside the group, it doesn't matter, you know, like, unless and until they rat you out to someone. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, like, we need to think of all the possibilities. What I'm trying to say is, Ayano Koji kind of talked with Horikita and he was like, oh, like you're not the VIP. Where I was a little bit confused. I was like, why are they consulting with each other? But now I'm realizing consulting with other groups 
yeah, it doesn't matter, you know, if you consult with other groups because they won't be able to affect your result unless and until they are in like, you know, ties with someone in this group, like, you know, like they kind of exchange information unless and until they do that, you know, one person from another group cannot, uh, like, you know, alter something from this group, like, you know, cannot do something to this group. If they are at ties with each other, for example, one person from this group, another person from this group, and, you know, like, this person gets to know what this person is, and this person is a VIP, this person can tell this person that, oh, in your group, this person is a VIP. That's one way you could well go, you know. So this is another possibility that can happen. All right, twice each day, a discussion will be held within the group um, in which we will attempt to discern the VIP's identity. 30 minutes after the sixth con discussion concludes, we will mail our answer to the school. Each person can send only one answer. However, the VIP themselves is not allowed to answer. Okay. Case one. If everyone aside from the VIP and the VIP's classmate, wait, if everyone aside from the VIP and the VIP's classmate, okay, gets the correct answer, all members of the group, oh, all members of the group, not only the class, all right, all members of the group will be gifted 500,000 private points. And the VIP will receive an additional 500,000. So the VIP will be the one who profits more off of this, you know, if like you know, making th their class profit the most, if you think about it in that way. Okay. That's case one. All right. Case two. If at least one person aside from the VIP, and the VIP's classmate, okay, at least one person aside from the VIP and the VIP's classmate fails to answer or guesses wrong. Okay, one person guesses wrong or fails to answer. Um, the VIP will receive 500,000 private points. Oh, so only the VIP will get the point. Case 2 represents a scenario in which the VIP keeps their identity hidden all right in this case only the vip receives the 500,000 points but attempting to expose the vip before the test okay but attempting to expose the vip before the test has concluded will lead to case three or four results so before the test is concluded if someone tries to okay all right um in these two situations, answers will be accepted at any time of the day during the testing period. Answers will also be accepted in the 30 minutes after the test uh, concludes, but in either case, wrong answers will result in a penalty. So basically, either let the test and then give your answer, everything like that's the normal way. But if someone tries to answer before that, it goes to case three and case four. Case one and two are when after the test ends, you answer your question, answer, you know. Test three, uh, case three and case four is when you try to answer before that. All right. Um, case three, if someone other than the VIP emails, emails the school before the testing period is over, anyone other than the VIP, that means from the same class as well, if anyone else, I think so. That's the same class is also included in it. Um, uh, emails the school before the testing period is over and gives the correct answer, that student class, the student's class, okay, we received 50 class points. Up until now, there was no class points. In case one, case two, no class point was involved, only personal points, you know. Here, class points gets, is getting involved in case three and case four. Uh, the class will get 50 class points, and the one who gave the correct answer will receive 500,000 private points. At this point, the group stage will conclude, and that's it. If the correct answer comes from someone in the VIP's own class, their answer will be declared invalid. This is interesting because obviously, um, I guess the VIP could easily tell the same class and they can win like that, you know, just like that. And, and obviously, uh, like, you know, their class will benefit from it the most. So that's why it's going to be invalid if the same class tries to, like, you know, um, declare the answer. And the test will continue it will not conclude it will continue 
Okay, case four. If someone other than the VIP emails the school before the testing period is over, okay, and gives the incorrect answer, that student's class will lose 50 class points. Okay, and the VIP will receive, oh, and the VIP will receive 500,000 private points. Okay. This is also beneficial to the VIP, I guess, you know, because the other team will be jeopardized. The 50 points will go down for their team and he himself will get a point, like, you know, like a personal point. While the VIP's class, oh, VIP's class is also going to receive points. Uh, while the VIP's class receives 50 class points. So this is basically competitive way, you know, you either like, you know, like here, here you're basically attacking the other, you know, like if you think of it in like, as a battle, the case one and case two, if you think of it in that way, it was more of a defensive game where everyone wins kind of thing, you know, especially case one. While this case here, here we can see that we're basically kind of going against each other. Like, you know, like if someone incorrectly, like, you know, guesses, you know, the, the, the VIP will get the point, their class will get the point, their class will get a deduction in point. While if they are correct, you know, that their class will get a point and the test will conclude that type of a thing. So class, uh, this case three and four are more offensive. All right. And the moment the incorrect answer is received, the group's test will conclude. Yeah, so you can do anything after that. It's over. Additionally, if the incorrect answer comes from someone in the... V okay, here's another thing. Additionally, if the incorrect answer comes from someone in the VIP's own class, so like they explained, VIP's own class cannot... Like, you know, their answer will be invalid. The answer will be declared invalid and will not be accepted. Okay, this one is also the same. So even if the uh, same... Uh, <clears throat> okay, so even if in the same class you give an, an incorrect answer about your VIP, you're in the same class and you give an incorrect answer, it will not be accepted, which means the test will continue. Hmm. So I feel like giving... Like this is... I feel like the, the, the one thing that you can do getting no penalty at all is trying to guess VIP from your own class because your answer will not be accepted. No, but you won't get, okay, but you won't get the confirmation that the person is a VIP or not because they, their answer will be considered invalid, you know, that they won't even check your answer. I was going to say like, you know, like it's, it's the least penalty. You can actually try to guess if there's someone in your group, you know, in your class, a VIP by doing this method because you're not going to get penalized and the test will continue. But now that I'm thinking about it, the answer is not even accepted. So you won't get the confirmation whether you're correct or incorrect if you try to guess from your own class. So this completely negates the point in doing this thing. You know, like there's no point in even trying to guess what, like, whether uh, someone from your uh, class is the VIP or not. Like there's, there's no valid reason for doing that. All right, I, I kind of understand the rules. Damn, these rules are crazy. Like, and since I was reacting, I cannot pause it. It kind of went into my head. Half of it went out. Now I can properly understand what the game is about. All right. Um, obviously, Kaiza is like, I don't understand what the hell is happening. <laughs> Same. At, at first, like, you know, thinking about it, like, you know, trying to decipher this is kind of difficult. <clears throat> All right. Okay, just a sec. For this test, the school will preserve, oh, another few important information, uh, will preserve your anonymity. After the test concludes, only your group's results, okay, after the test concludes, only your group's results, and class-wide point changes will be announced. So you can kind of deduce what happened by change, seeing the change in points, I guess, but they want your, uh, you know, your identity will be anonymous. What about the VIP's identity? It will not be announced. So there you go. Like you're emailing the answer to someone. So other people also don't know what you're emailing to the school, you know? So even if someone gets points, some class gets points, you won't be about to, about able to deduce whether like, you know, who was the VIP or who guessed it, what happened. You won't be able to deduce unless and until you all cooperate 
and are truthful with each other and go with case one. If you go with case one where everyone wins and the, the, the leader, the VIP who is the one who is going to get an extra uh, like you know, uh, bonus personal points. If you go with that way, you know, then then I guess everyone wins and then like, you know, the, the, there will be like the anonymity thing won't work here because you will know who the leader is because you're cooperating, uh, not leader, the VIP, because you're cooperating with each other and there's no lies between you, you know, you're going through the clean and clear method, you know, and the direct method. So that's the only way to know the identity of the VIP if you cooperate, unless and until that happens, no. All right. So that's the rules of the game. And uh, <clears throat> okay, Ayanokoji says there are four clear test results. Uh, Ichino Sehonami, group B, she says the whole group uh, shares the VIP answers and win. There you go, that's what I said. It's case one. Okay, the final response. Uh, uh, this is uh, Kasuragi. He's saying in the final response, at least one person gets it wrong. And the VIP wins. Okay. At least one person gets it wrong and the VIP wins. All right. A traitor discovers the VIP. Okay. And the final possibility there's a traitor, but they incorrectly guess the VIP's identity. So they're basically saying that if someone guesses before time, they're basically the traitor here, you know, because you're not cooperating with your class, you know. That's why right, traitor. That's why class uh, case three and case four is the traitor's way of doing it. But here I have to disagree a little bit. Even if you are the traitor, you can try to like you know like being the traitor. You can still boost up your own classes points and their you know like the, the personal points that you get. So that's one way to kind of do it. Like you know go with the like you know traitor route, but at the same time get a favorable outcome for your class. But if you incorrectly guess, then yeah, you're doomed. You, you're taking your class down with you and that'll be disastrous. So there you go. And the thing about this whole situation is no one is going to know any, anyone's identity. So I guess anyone can be the traitor without even having like a fear that, oh, I might get uh, like, you know, caught. Yeah, like no, everything will be anonymous unless and until you try to share it with someone like, oh, I'm the VIP or I'm, I'm going to guess the identity tomorrow. If you tell someone like this, you know, unless and until that happens, your identity is, is uh, safe. No one's going to know by the end of it. Like who, who is even going to know? You're personally emailing it to the uh, school and they're not going to announce who's the traitor and all that. But I guess, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute, in case three, uh, I forgot what happens in the case that someone is just a sec. Okay, uh, the student's class will receive 50 class points. The one who gave the correct answer will receive 500,000 private points. Oh, okay, no, but there might be a little bit of a way to understand who is the traitor because the traitors, uh, like obviously their class is going to get an extra point, which is very clearly, like you know, everyone will be able to understand that, that, oh, from that cl class, there was the traitor. They will understand that at that moment. Also, personally, they're going to get like an extra personal point boost. If people keep track on how many points, uh, like you know, someone has, and they suddenly see that boosting, they'll be able to easily pinpoint the traitor here okay and the same thing happens if the traitor incorrectly guesses because the class is going to like you know, lose the points and the vip oh no but oh but if they incorrectly guesses only the vip's points are going to get increased and their class is going to get decreased so they will realize that they're in, within the class there's someone is a traitor and who guessed and guessed incorrectly which will be really bad you know like their class everyone will like be have the, like a label will be put on them like oh this is a class of traitors or something like that i guess you know like it, it'll be a weird thing that's going to happen if someone tries to guess and they incorrectly guesses it okay all right i kind of understand what's happening now and like I said, the, the first thing that Horikita and uh, Ayanokoji does is they kind of like, uh, Ayanokoji is like, oh, you're not the VIP and Horikita is also like, yeah, like you're also not it. Like I said, 
two groups cannot affect each other two groups cannot affect each other they can easily share the answers if they have enough trust enough trust in each other unless and until they share that answer with someone else in the other group you know if they these two share answers with each other it's all well and good because they cannot directly affect the, the groups but if this person has ties with someone in the group other than that person he talked to he or she talked to and this person sells you know sells information then yeah then that's also another way of being a traitor to your friend or to the person who you actually told your secret or whatever so anyways while all of this was happening obviously this guy what's his name i forget his name always the long-haired guy um anyways what's his name you know what let me check out his name he's, he's one of the important characters uh classroom of elite ah what is his name um ruin okay ruin that's his name all right he comes in with uh you know the a few other cat uh people from his class and that girl is also there i think ibuki that was her name or something the blue haired girl and he comes here he tries to kind of like you know uh guess get more information from horikata horikita he's like oh like you know like mm, i i do wonder how you were able to do it in the like you know island you know like how you were able to guess all that stuff he's saying and he does bring up the point that looking at you you are like a person who's very straightforward doesn't do these type of like sneaky stuff you know so i doubt you would you were the one like you know i i kind of don't believe that you were the one who were able to pull this off you know, which kind of shows how he's sneakily suspicious about whether it was horikita or not you know who took the thing um uh who took the decisions and everything one weird thing happens he takes a picture of horikita Obviously, Horikita is mad. Another thing does happen later on, which is also weird again. The three girls from the other class tries to take a picture of um, that girl. What is her name? Uh, the girlfriend. Um, Karuizawa. Karuizawa, I think, yeah. So okay i never realized so karizu is like one of the main characters of the show like I, in season one i barely even realized that like in season one yeah season one karizawa i don't think there was much of karizawa we kind of just knew that she's the girlfriend of the that guy and that's just it so she's one of the okay main supporting characters interesting um Right, so uh, all of that was happening. Uh, now uh, this guy he goes away, Ruen, and it's kind of sneakily suspicious. And uh, Anakoji obviously tries to think of the situation. Now in the group, there's like you know th three A class people, three B class people, four uh, D class people, and four C class people. Uh, and uh, here obviously the girl from the B class, that girl, what's her name? Oh, there's so many characters that are like mixing up all the names Ichinose Honami yeah that's her name um, she again she's I've seen this before as well in season one she tries to take up the initiative so much and she's she has quite a good leadership quality up until now like you know she seems quite genuine but I don't know if there's like something hi hiding within her you know so she seems really genuine even in season one she seemed really genuine here as well she's like you know saying that oh like we should like you know cooperate and we should win all at the same time and that's what she says you know like I th she said like what we should do i think is like you know tell like you know who the vip is cooperate and everyone will win by the end of it that's the most favorable outcome and okay um here however that guy what's his name uh What's his name? I, I forgot. The guy from A. He says that. Here we go. We of A class have resolved to abstain from the discussion. Everyone's like, what? You know. Now he brings up a few other points, which is kind of interesting. Okay. He says the simplest and the most certain way to benefit from the test. 
to abstain from participation from the beginning to the end. And he's like uh, instructions from Kasurag, isn't it? Uh, Anagoji thinking. To refuse discussion and let the unknown VIP run away with the points? Question mark. And he's saying, what is the least desirable test result? Someone figuring out the VIP and betraying everyone. Okay. And that's why he's saying, like, that's why abstaining in discussion is going to make everything okay. Yeah, someone suspecting someone else of being the VIP and getting it wrong, you know, like that is going to be avoided if they abstain in discussion. Uh, okay, the guy from class D says, I acknowledge the wisdom of abstaining from discussion, um, but neglecting to identify VIPs could heighten the point disparity between the classes, couldn't it? Okay. What if the VIP distribution is extremely uneven? Now they bring up another point, the VIP distribution, if it's uneven. But this guy says like, oh, this is like, you know, like that's not going to happen because this is like a you know, fair school. Um, and uh, we've seen before as well, everything is fair. So they won't do it like that. Which again, I don't completely trust, you know, like the class school can do anything, you know. Why are you already assuming that the school will not do something like that? I don't trust these people. <laughs> Maybe the school knew that they're going to come to this conclusion. That's why they was not fair this time, you know. Like, I don't know. Okay, uh, Ichinose, I think that was her name. Yeah, she says like, I, you're making a fair point, but actually carrying out it out won't be easy. You're betting on the fact that none of the first students, your students, will suspect or betray anyone else. And this guy is like, oh, like everyone trusts each other in our class, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the uh, girls from class C says it does sound easier than trying to find the VIP. Uh, might we perhaps accept the offer? I see no reason to object. Everyone's kind of coming to a conclusion. But Ishino says, I just feel like Machida Kun's strategy is one that class A specifically is incentivized to suggest because they're at the top, you know. And he's like, oh, is there some kind of demerit in this? And she says, you're forcing the people of lower class to waste, there you go, one of their chances at turning, turning things around. Obviously, they're at the top. They, can, they don't need to do anything. All they need to do is just wait to waste the chances of the others down below them or kind of like, you know, uh, like, you know, sabotage them or do something. They can keep at the same points forever, unless and until all the others try to catch up with them, they'll be at the top. So there you go. Okay, she says a United Front plant guarantees there'll be no change in the final class rankings. Yeah, the, there's no one's getting some extra class points. That's not happening. People are going to get extra private points, the VIP. Okay, saying you plan in, involves a united front as well she says no not quite actually one group uh, our group contains four members each of class d and class c and one uh, and only three each of class b and a they're lesser here obviously in other words if we achieve, uh, achieve the class one result uh class d and class c will receive five hundred thousand extra private points Okay, personal points, however, but wouldn't you be putting your own class B at disadvantage as well? And she's like, the alternative is possibly letting class A run away with the win. There you go. That's true. After all, the VIP might be in your class. Okay, so she brings up quite a lot of interesting points in such a short amount of time. Like I said, she's intelligent and takes the lead quite easily which is but obviously machi does like uh no way like you know class a's philosophy reign remains unchanged one thing i don't understand like you know personal points is something different they're not getting an extra class point for like you know the first thing so either way i don't think that class is going to get jeopardized by you know like obviously the extra there'll be extra class like you know there'll be extra par private points that's one thing that the individual members are going to get like in the private points department, their class will be a little bit, like, you know, will get a little bit extra, the, the VIP class. No, not VIP class, sorry, the, the class C and class D, because there are four of them. But there's no involvement of class points in, like, you know, in uh, 
in case 1 and case 2. Class points is involved in case 3 and case 4. So there's no change in the rankings then I'm guessing the only the private points are going to be changed. I don't understand that part. Like like then yeah like nothing's going to happen. Everything will be normal. So why is the guy from class A saying like oh no the, like you know like they will be at a disadvantage because all they are going to be derived of is personal points not class points either way he's like no i'm not going to cooperate goes back sits in the corner and yeah uh anakoji is like you know goes outside and we see these girls from class c they talk about how she like you know like uh uh what's her name kaizawa like messed with some other girl or something shoved her out of the line or something and obviously she's like what the hell no i didn't do anything like that and they're like you know trying to kind of gang up on her like take her pictures and everything uh or obviously she kind of tries to swats away her phone and she gets mad at the girls from class c and coach is looking at everything you know i don't understand this weird thing about taking pictures like what the hell is this this girl these girls are trying to take pictures before that guy um what's what was his name you and yeah he tried to take a picture of hoikita like what what's up with taking pictures my god <laughs> maybe it's part of a greater scheme or something i don't know <laughs> but either way they try to take picture obviously uh machida comes in the guy from class a and i feel like karizawa has something up I don't know because she does something weird in her behavior we can see first of all here she kind of acts a little bit cutesy you know trying to get like you know help from her him from machida and he helps her out he's like what the hell are you guys doing and uh, you know kaiusa was like oh thank you so much it gives him that like you know smile that blushy smile like that that's like one thing that's like it's as if she's man trying to manipulate him that was one thing that I found it found weird about that part, but I was like, okay, maybe she's someone like that. She tries to manipulate someone. But the thing that happens after that, where she's crying, you know, in the in the shower, I'm like, what is happening? So, like, why is she crying then? If she's trying to manipulate them, they can manipulate Machida. So, confusion. She she has something going on, some kind of secret which you still don't know. Something is like you know wrong with this whole situation. And it's kind of also kind of weird how the girls from class three tried to like you know uh, just attack her or well, like oh you shoved someone out and she was like no I didn't do that that was also kind of weird okay anyways um, the next discussion we see how um, uh, obviously uh, class A is not uh, participating and all the others are just stop stuck they don't know anything what to do um, now here again Ichinose says something nice again she's like oh this is a good chance to kind of talk with each other and everything and they're kind of like you know like sharing stories and everything trying to like you know, make a bond with each other obviously class a is not budging like you know the guy is much does like nah i'm not going to fall for that and all that now here again like i said we see um that's that's karuzawa isn't it i think so yeah that's karuzawa like Karuzawa and Ichin Ichino says their hairstyle and how they look is so similar, you know, kind of similar. That's why I'm kind of like I always get kind of confused with the, those two of them. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is the one in the shower was Karuzawa. I think it was not Ichino Sen. Anyways, she's just there, just like kind of, kind of crying and over in the shower. Now, uh, like I said, like, you know, in the previous scene, we see her trying to, like, you know, give that, like, you know, that sweet smile, trying to, like, you know, get a help from Machida, you know, like, trying to, I wouldn't say manipulate, but, you know, kind of, like, act cute in front of him to get help, like, you know, to get help in that situation. That happened, and again, this is happening, and she's crying in the shower. I'm like, what's happening? Like, what's going on here? So, secret. That's a secret. I'm guessing we're going to get to know later on. And like I said uh it seems like karuzawa is one of the main supporting characters in this like you know season uh especially in the ending again we see her just in the like you know and below of the staircase and anakuji just looking at her like this you know <laughs> from top and so which kind of shows that there is something going on with her and there's probably she's probably like one of the main supporting characters who will be involved with the story so we'll see Damn, that was a solid first episode. Like, 
I had to pause. I had to like actually go back and like understand what's happening. But this is a complicated game, but a, but an interesting one. We'll see what happens after this. So that's it. That was the first episode of the uh, Classroom of the Elite Season 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, then comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. But no spoilers. I like you know this this show. I'm sure this show contains a lot of spoilers, which is probably going to blow my mind later on. So no spoilers. And yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of Classroom of the Elite Season 2. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.